all right, coach, I couldn't come to an Olentangy Orange practice and not talk to you. <laughs> you're such a big part of this program. You have been for years, and now you're coaching the middle school, right? Right, right. It's like a year. Okay, so how do you feel? Just tell me what your role is here in the program and, and, and how important it is to you. Um, really just getting girls excited about the program, um, getting out on the mat to try it, and start developing them so when they walk into this room, they're ready to go down the shot and make their mark. You know that you're building something inside young girls that they'll take into the rest of their lives. Do they know that at this point? Um, the first years, not necessarily, but when they come back the second year and they start building that leadership um, and taking that role of uh, mentoring the new girls, I think it's, it starts to build inside them and they start realizing it. Wrestling is a weird sport. How does a weird sport like wrestling translate to a middle school girl that doesn't even, <laughs> you know, they, they don't even know what they're gonna wear for the day? It's only weird before they come out on the mat. Um, I went to recruiting events uh, at each of the middle schools um, during lunch, and it was weird there. But when they got in the room, they put their hands on somebody else, and they started doing the moves, it became less weird, and they felt more comfortable. So I would imagine that you would suggest get into a room, give it a shot. If you can get girls in the room, you'll get them hooked. Um, we only had a couple girls that came to open mat that didn't come back, um, but all the other ones that tried it, they ended up signing up. All right. What's it like to be in a room with all these other coaches and obviously the, the talent that's at there? Uh, we have, Orange has one of the best uh, high school coaching staffs there is. I learn from them just as the girls do. Um, I try to take back what I hear here and translate it to the, our girls in our room um, just to uh, amplify the stuff I'm already teaching them. Um, it's just world-class coaches are here, so it's, it's awesome for everybody. And name them off, you know, got Dom Sabato, got Brian, of course, Vanessa, and you s have been such a huge part of growing girls wrestling in the state of Ohio. Do you ever take time to look back and go, yeah, maybe I had something to do with that? Yeah, I mean, with all the social media, um, going back and seeing the memories pop up, where we were, you know, old pictures on my phone from, you know, going to Fargo, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, we had, you know, we thought we were huge at like 10 or 15 girls, and now we're hitting 100. Um, seeing all these teams pop up on, on Facebook and Twitter where they're, like, they're doubling year after year after year. I heard Centerville has 42 girls this year. Um, they're a second year program. Um, wow. So if you build it, the girls are coming. Um, you just got to give them that opportunity. Well, I appreciate what you've done for the sport. I really do. It's fun to watch and just kind of from a distance where you've been. And obviously you've had success. Your daughter's had success at the highest level. You've got another one coming up soon. So I know uh, keep grinding, keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Rob.